Man, Corona got the world wild, and don't it? I'm talking about stores closing down. I'm talking about people losing their jobs. Oh, that's crazy, y'all. Y'all be safe out there, but check this out. What it ain't gonna stop is these Forex markets. Let's get it. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for 40,000 plus subs, man. That's insane. I appreciate the love and support, y'all. Secondly, we are gonna talk about today, how to stop losing trades, like how to really stop losing trades. But before we get into that, I wanna make sure y'all like this video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you are brand new, make sure you comment your cash app, Bitcoin or pay it near whatever you got below. Cause I do do giveaways to my subscribers for the support of the channel. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Yo, but we're gonna talk today about, you know, how to stop losing trades, man. And, and what's crazy right now is that since the coronavirus is going around, a lot of people are losing their jobs, right? A lot of people are losing their jobs, businesses are shutting down, all kind of crazy stuff. So this is like the perfect time to go ahead and learn this skill just in case you know, you get laid off or whatever, right? I just showed a video earlier on my Instagram um, of me sitting on the couch with my family, just trading, making money. This is what it looks like to trade Forex on Monday. This is what our Mondays look like. This is what work should look like, bro. This is what work should look like. What is what is the world doing? Y'all better trade Forex. We kicking it. 11 standards. Look at that, man. One candlestick. One candlestick. $1,200 for the day on that one. Done. Let's go. My bad, y'all. That was actually $1,400. let us go. And $1,400 for the day off the one candlestick strategy. You feel me? But yeah, that's just, it's just, you know, stuff like that. Once you got it, you can do it. And you can sit at home and you can make this money all day long. You know what I'm saying? But you got to put in the work. So how to stop losing trades, right? The first thing you need to do to stop losing trades is when you lose, you need to identify why you lost. Okay? Identify why you lost the trade. If you cannot identify why you lost a trade, you're gonna be in bad shape because you got too many squares in your circle. Boy, if you don't, <laughs> you like that, you like that, you get it squares and stuff, okay. But anyway, <laughs> you get that though. But look, so you have to identify why you lost the trade, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't know why you lost, you're gonna keep losing. You're gonna keep doing the same thing, expecting different results and it ain't gonna happen that way, okay? The second thing is you need to stop being greedy, all right? The market is low-key like a slot machine, but you will mess up your money if you keep on trying to be greedy. And what do I mean by that? You know, everybody been through this. All of us have, if you trade for it, I don't care if you're just starting an expert, we all been here right? You will be winning because it happened to my wife this morning. You'll be winning, right? You'll be winning and, and you may be up like five, five or $10 or maybe even four or five dollars, something like that, right? And you like, dang, I wonder if I can get to 20. And then you'll try to let it get to 20 and then it'll go back in the negative. It happens all the time, right? Or, or like sometimes I'll be like three or $400 and I'm like, I know I should take this, but let me see if I can get to 600. And then you got to stop being greedy. That's one of the main rules in this Forex game. Do not be greedy. You want to stop losing, stop being greedy. Like I tell my people all the time, I don't care if it's 50 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, 20 cent, a dollar, $50. Take your money. Profit is profit. It's always profit, all right? So you can always get back in and, and do it again. Another um, thing that's gonna help you guys stop losing is stop over trading, all right? The reason why I came out with the method of do it as you would do your job as far as like uh, per hour is because it's gonna eliminate a lot of that. Like if you do it per hour, it's gonna eliminate you over trading. So let's say, like I said, you come in the market, you trade for one hour right and it may not even take you one hour you may hit your income goal in the first 10 minutes or 20 minutes right you may hit the income goal for that hour whatever income goal you set for yourself you may hit that in like the first 20 minutes and if you do that get off the computer get off your cell phone go about your day go play 2k if you a fella you know how we do we play 2k go play 2k go to starbucks women go go get your nails done hair done whatever come back in another hour and do it again right now if you lose like i said try again but give yourself three chances if you lose all three times stay out the market for the day all right because what's going to happen is you're going to do what they call revenge trading and revenge trading is when you lose and you try to go back in and make up for what you lost and then you end up losing more so you don't want to do that 
all right? You do not want to do that because that's gonna you're gonna blow your account so much faster. So another way to stop losing trades is to have an actual plan, right? Have goals set, have a, a plan and in, in, in action that you're gonna do for the day, and that's gonna eliminate a lot of the other stuff. Okay, so my plan, like my my income goal for the for each day is to at least do between 200 to 500 a day. All right, if I do it in the first five minutes, most of the time I'm done. Sometimes I do way over. I might do a thousand. You know what I'm saying in a day and stuff like that. But my income goal is there for the day because I already ran the numbers and I think, you know, anywhere from between like two, maybe three to five or something a day is either 70,000 a year or like six figures. So I ran my numbers, you know, and stuff like that. And you got to do that kind of stuff. Okay. So you got to run the numbers. You got to know exactly, you know, how much I need to quit my job or how much my bills are. I need to know exactly how much my bills are and I can make this. If I can make this, you know, within the first three days, the rest of the week, I can chill and I'm, my bills is paid, stuff like that. Right. So that's the kind of stuff you have to do. But if you don't set those goals up, uh, then you're going to just be all over the place. All right. It's kind of like a ship that has no captain. The boat's just going to go out and just just go out the distance but somebody who has a set goal is going to hit that target every single time all right so that's kind of what it's like when you're doing that another one another one that's going to help you guys stop losing is stop trading with your emotion and we all know all right you be killing it in the demo i'm talking about you be killing it in the demo i'm talking about you 10 trades in a row you you know made thousand dollar days in the demo you kill them but when you get in that live them emotions kick in <laughs> and you start losing you're like why well, i keep losing in the live but i'm killing in the demo you know why it's because first and foremost you're not trading with what you're supposed to be trading in the demo so a lot of the times people in the demo they may have an account that they got like fifty thousand dollars in it right but then when they trade live they, their account is on like three or four hundred dollars so they try they they was doing high lot sizes 10 15 dollar lot standards you know what i'm saying in the in the fifty thousand dollar account on the demo but then now they got to do these smaller lots and they're not seeing the same results and i'll be trying to tell y'all look if you do if you open a demo open a demo with the amount of money that you plan on having in your real account that way you know it reflects your real account that way those same emotions are there because you see that small number and you're trying to grow it and then you may have jitters, you know what I'm saying? Because it feels like it's your real money because it's a number you, it's a number you recognize, right? Most people don't recognize $50,000 in, in a, a trading account. You know what I mean? So do a realistic number for yourself. And that way, once you see it, it's like, oh, okay. Then you put your real money in there and you're used to it. So now the jitters are gone because you're so used to always trading with $400 in the demo or $1,000 in the demo. You're always used to it, seeing it. So now when you put your real money in there, it's going to feel like you're trading demo. And that's how I did it, right? When I got in the uh, live account, it felt like I was trading demo. So as soon as I placed my, my trade, I didn't have no emotions. I didn't have no jitters. It was all gone. But before, when I first started trading, like my emotions was all over the place. Like I'll place a, I'll place a buy or a sell or whatever, and it'll go in the negative and I'll start panicking like, oh snap, like it's in the negative or it's, it's still going in the negative and I wouldn't wait, I wouldn't hold it or nothing. I would just be like, dang, what am I do? And then I'll try to wait too long, things like that. Which brings me to a next point. Stop chasing trades, bro. Stop chasing the trades, all right? So what I mean by that, if you have a trade that's losing, okay? And it's, it just continues to keep losing. You're chasing it when you when you believe that it's gonna come back and turn around, okay? Now, my rule of thumb is I usually wait around, I say either like one to like two minutes max sometimes, you know what I mean? Like actual minutes, right? I'll even time it. If it doesn't come back in this amount of time, then I'm just gonna cut that loss, no matter what it is. Also set your stop loss, but don't chase the trade because what's gonna happen is, let's say you're down 30 bucks. Okay. Sometimes that's cool because it will come around depending on, you know, how you set your chart up and stuff like that, your uh, trend lines, it will come back. But a lot of the times it may not come back and you're chasing that trade and then you take a huge loss when you could have took a small loss. You know what I mean? So that, those are some of the things guys is going to help you protect your account. Now it's up to you to do those things. If you don't, you're going to keep blowing your account. Always use a stop loss, right? Especially when you're starting out. If you just start out, just use a stop loss. Okay use it get familiar with it practice it and you're good to go these are some of the things guys that if you practice if you get them down if you set goals right if you set hourly income goals things like that if you don't over trade if you you know definitely have a plan and action if you cut your losses quickly uh if you don't be greedy in the market and you take what you can get you know i i know it's like i know it gets to a point where you feel like you get so good that you can just keep going and that's gonna be the problem. Cause see what happens is like, I use my wife for example, cause she's been killing it lately, right? 
And I try to tell her, I said, babe, stop trading. All right, you're good, you're good. You just want six in a row. Leave the market alone. But it becomes like a casino to people because you're winning and you're hot and you wanna keep going. And I'm like, no, get a market of rest, right? You, you won six in a row, leave it there. Come back maybe in another hour or two and then do it again, all right? Because what happens is you're going to be in the market and it's gonna be kind of like that mirage in the desert. You're going to start seeing things that's not really there. You may think you see a setup, but since you've been staring at the chart so long, you're gonna be like, oh, this is a setup and it won't be the setup and you'll lose money. That's what happened. So what I want you guys to do is practice as much as you can in the demo, right? Get a consistent strategy. My rule of thumb is if you can win five trades in a row with your strategy, right? You could, you win five straight trades in a row. All right. And you can continue to do that in the demo. Then you're ready for live. If, if not, you're not ready yet. So don't rush the markets guys. Do not rush it. The market is going to be here. It's life changing. You know what I mean? If you practice a lot of these things, you will be a very successful trader. There's a reason why 90% of traders lose. Greed, right? Not having a plan, not cutting their losses quickly, you know, trying to get rich overnight and stuff like that. You're gonna continue to blow it. Take your time step by step, you know, hour by hour, you know, however you wanna do it. Take your money when you have it, $5, I don't care if it's $2, you know what I mean? Take your money and compound that account and continue to do that and eventually you'll look up and have a and have a pretty good size account. Another thing I usually tell people as far as, you know, uh, when it does come to Forex, people always ask me like, how do I, you know, get a bigger account and, and things like that. I usually tell people, use your account as a savings account, right? So if you are in like Trader's Way, that's what I use, right? If you have a Trader's Way account, let's say you could put 50 in the first time, okay? You get paid again from your job, you could put another 100 in and you just keep putting money in there without touching the markets, don't trade, keep trading in the demo and build that account up until you get it to where you want it and then you could trade. Then you may look up a month from now, you have $1,200 or $1,300 or maybe $2,500 in the account that gives you that leverage to do bigger lot sizes. And since you've been practicing for so long in the demo, now you got the strategy down packed. By the time you hop in the live, you're killing it out the gate, right? It's gonna eliminate the losses because now you have a set strategy that you practice in a demo and now you're on fire with it. You're killing it. And now once you hop in the live, it's like night and day money. It's like printing money all day long, guys. So those are the ways that you can stop, you know, losing trades, guys. If you practice these and you keep going in the demo, I know you wanna get rich. I know you got bills to pay. I know you wanna change your situation, but take your time in the demo, learn a strategy that you can just crush every single time you hop in the market and it's just undeniable that this is the strategy that I'm gonna use to kill it. Once you get to that point, then it's time for the live account. Then you will minimize your losses, guys. So cut losses quickly. Do not be greedy. Come up with a plan, you know what I mean? Don't overtrade and you'll be just fine. It's your boy, Jeremy Cash, man. Check out the Instagram as well, man. I'm always showing testimonials and stuff over there, guys. And uh, I appreciate, you know, y'all listening to your boy. I'm glad I've been able to help y'all with y'all trading. You know what I mean? Things like that. I'm about to get back to these charts. I'm gonna get back to getting this paper and I'm gonna see y'all next video. Let's get it.